guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Andrea here. Today we're gonna to be working on a yummy, flowy, heart opener sequence that is gonna help us feel amazing. So let's do this guys, let's go straight to the floor, roll out your mat, see you there. Today we're gonna to start in our child's pose, so just come to your mat, come into your regular child's pose, letting everything go here into the mat, taking the time to disconnect, Disconnect from any unnecessary thoughts and really focus on ourselves, focus on our breath, on our mat, focus on the present moment, reconnecting with ourselves. If we have an intention that we like to set for today's class, go ahead. Let's start our practice today connecting with three beautifying breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, release. Big inhalation, opening up. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. In your next inhalation, start pressing both hands against the floor, lifting the elbows, and we're gonna start shifting the weight forward to come into all fours, coming into that tabletop position, making sure the shoulders are on top of the hands and the hips on top of the knees. We're gonna start with two cat and cow here to warm up. We're gonna drop the belly, open the chest. As we inhale, look up, opening up. And as we exhale, we're gonna round, contract, belly in, loop between the legs. One more. Inhale, arching, opening, looking up. Exhale, rounding and contracting, belly in. Slowly, let's come back to the neutral spine. As we inhale, let's bring the right arm all the way up to the ceiling, reaching up, opening up. And as you exhale, reach all the way under the left arm, dropping the shoulder and the right ear on the floor. You can use the left hand down on the floor for support. You can reach it up or bring it towards your lower back. Whatever helps you get a little deeper into this twist, let's stay here for three, two, and in your one, slowly reversing, dropping the left hand back into the mat. As we inhale, we're gonna bring the right arm all the way up to the ceiling, and the right hand is gonna come back into the floor. Keeping both hands on the floor, we're gonna bring the right leg up, bend the right knee, arch the spine, and try to touch the back of your head with your big toe. Inhale to stay. Exhale to contract, kiss the knee. One more. Inhale, touch the back of the head, arching. Staying here. Keep the right hand where it is, bring the left arm in a big circle to reach to grab the right foot. And if you grab it, we're gonna try to pull it up to twist, to hold it there. Stay there for three, two. In your one, see if you can keep holding the left foot, the right foot, sorry. We're gonna try to bend the right elbow and drop the forearm on the floor. Just to get a little deeper into that twist. Staying here for one more inhalation. Slowly releasing, dropping the left arm on the floor. One more arch to try to touch the back of the head. And slowly reversing, kiss the knee. Drop the knee behind, shift the weight back towards your heels, reach the hands behind the feet. And we're just gonna open the chest, maybe open the hips, let the head hang to reset. And reverse. Come back to center, shifting forward to the table. Let's go for one rounded spine, what can spine, cat spine, like an angry cat. And come back to the neutral spine. Let's go for the second side. Left arm reaches up, all the way up, opening up. And reach all the way under the right arm, dropping the shoulder and the ear on the floor. Again, you're welcome to keep the right hand down if that helps you get deeper on the twist. You can also bring it up or to your lower back. Focus on the opening, focus on the twist. Stay here for one more breath. And slowly reversing, right hand comes down, left arm reaches all the way up and the left hand comes back into the mat, both hands stay on the floor. Keeping the left knee bent, we're gonna send the left leg up, try to touch the back of the head as you arch, looking up. And contract, kiss the knee, round. One more, inhale, touching the back of the head, arch. 
exhale, kiss the knee, contract. Last one, touching the back of the head, looking up. Now you can look down and bring the right arm on a half circle to reach to grab that left foot. If you grab it, let's pull it up. Open and twist, hold it there. Four, three, two, in your one, you can stay like that or maybe bend the left elbow, drop the forearm on the floor, getting a little deeper twist here for the inhalation. Slowly release the right hand, drop the right forearm on the floor. Once again, try to touch the back of the head as you inhale. Bring the knee to the nose. Bring the knee back to join the right knee. Chip the hips back to a quick child's pose just for the inhalation to reset. And as we exhale, press the hands against the floor, chip the way forward, pack the toes, and let's go straight to the first downward facing dog of your practice. You can walk the dog, move the hips, do whatever your body needs right now to prepare you for your practice, to reconnect you with your mat and reconnect you back with that intention. Let's do one more breath here. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Inhale, look up. Step by step, walk all the way to the front of your mat, all the way forward. Once we are right to the front, hands to your shins. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Arms come up. Hands through the center to come all the way down. Hands come down to the floor. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, hands on the floor, stepping back into your plank, keeping the shoulders on top of your hands, hold it here for the inhalation. And as we exhale, modify Chaturanga, drop the knees on the floor, elbows pointing back, hold it there for three, two, in your one, inhale to that upper facing dog or cobra. Exhale, let's go back to that downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here. Reconnecting with that intention, keep sending the way back. That was a modified version of the vinyasa, which you are welcome to use at any moment today. Let's take one more breath here. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Inhale, look up. Jump or step all the way to the front. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Arms come up. Hands through the center that takes you all the way down. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, jumping or stepping back to your vinyasa, your variation of that vinyasa, moving through your upper dog and getting back into that downward dog. We got three breaths here, getting us ready for our practice, reconnecting again with that intention. Keep sending the way back, trying to get the heels to touch the floor, pressing with every single knuckle of your fingers. We got one more breath here, let the head hang. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Keep pressing the hands against the floor. We're gonna start slowly lifting the heels off the mat. We're gonna round the spine until we shift the weight all the way to the front where the shoulders are on top of the heads. Once we get to this version, we're gonna tilt the hip, hip comes up and send the weight all the way back to downward dog. Let's do the same thing one more time. Inhale, heels up, rounding to shift to the front. Exhale, reversing back to downward dog. Inhale, shift the way forward. This time we come towards our plank position. We're gonna keep the left hand down on the floor and see if it's possible to bring the right hand up, reach it to the front, keep the shoulders facing down. Hold it here for the inhalation. And as we exhale, the right hand is gonna reach back and try to grab the outside of that left leg. Let's do the same transition one more time. Inhale, shifting forward, reaching forward. Exhale, shifting back, catching the outside of the left leg. Last one, inhale, shifting forward, stay there. We're gonna start slowly rotating towards the right so we can pass through the side plank, right arm goes up and reaches to the back, reaching the hip towards the floor. And we reverse that, hip comes up all the way to the back towards the downward dog, grabbing the outside of the left leg, whatever is accessible. And for this last one, try to bring the head through to look at the left armpit. Staying here for three, two, 
One reverse, right hand down, right leg comes up, three-legged dog, bend the right knee, let the hip open, and slowly the right foot is gonna start dropping towards the floor as if you were about to go to wall thing, but we're gonna bend both knees and drop the knees on the floor. Right now we got both knees on the floor, we're gonna push away with the left hand, and the arms are gonna reach out towards the right side for a little twist, reaching right. Reverse, hands come down towards the floor. We're gonna pack the left toes, right leg is gonna come up towards the ceiling, right knee bend it, shift the way forward so the shoulders can be on top of the hands. Touch the back of the head with your inhalation just like the warm up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the nose, kiss it. Step the right foot between your hands, drop the left knee on the floor, release the left toes. We're gonna have the toes pointed behind. Once you are ready, we're in a deep lunge. We're gonna bring the arms up, grab opposite elbows, make sure the elbows are behind the ears, point those left toes if possible, and if you can, as we inhale, we're gonna lift the left knee off the mat. Staying here, you can stay like that, or we can add extra challenge by sending the arms back, opening the heart, hold it for one more inhalation. Slowly reverse, drop the left knee, pack the left toes, everything stays the same, left knee comes off and we reach the arms behind, opening the heart, hips a little deeper as you inhale. Exhale, hands come down on the floor, press the hands against the floor. We're gonna shift the way back and either slide the right heel or float the right heel to the back. And then walk the hands all the way to the back of your mat, transferring the weight to your feet. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward, grabbing whatever is accessible on those legs and trying to bring the torso down just for a breath to get a little hamstring stretch. And as we inhale, we're gonna reach the arms to the front, all the way up, coming to standing. Once you get to standing, we're gonna bring the hands again to the lower back, fingertips pointing up, elbows pointing back. It's like we're in a camel from here. So we're gonna support the lower back. First, open the chest and let the head hang as we reach back. Support the lower back, get a little deeper. Hold it here. One more breath. Slowly reverse. Come back to the center, halfway down. Reach the arms to the front, forming a beautiful table. Stay here for the inhalation. As we exhale, we're gonna drop, either walk forward to your Chaturanga, or a little bit more challenging, dropping straight to your Chaturanga. From here, press up, and the right foot comes up straight to the wall thing. Right arm reaches up and back. Hip coming higher. Hold it here. Pushing away with the left hand. We got one more inhalation. Exhale, right hand comes down. Right knee stays bended. We're gonna try to touch the back of the head just for the inhalation. And slowly start bending the elbows so the hips and the chest touch the floor. Knee touches the floor, palms stay where they are. As we inhale, aim to extend the arms. Try to touch the back of the head with your right foot. And slowly reverse, extend the right leg. Other side, left knee bended, extend the arms, try to touch the back of the head. And slowly reverse. Same thing with both legs, keeping the hands where they are, we're gonna bend both knees, aiming to extend both arms, reaching back, hold it there for three, two, in your one, we're gonna shift the way back. So we transfer to your legs here, and we shift the way all the way to the knees here. Now we're gonna make sure the knees are hip width apart. We're just gonna reach the arms to the front. No camel here, we're gonna try to keep this neutral spine. Working a little bit more with strengthening in this area, just in this side. So arms are gonna reach forward, belly in, nice and long spine, inhale to stay. Exhale, leaning back, leaning back with control. Inhale, coming back up. Two more times. Exhale, leaning back with control. Inhale, coming back up. Last one to stay. Leaning back with control. Stay there for three, two, that's it, one, come back up, bring your hands to prayer, tuck the toes, transfer to Malasana or Yogi Squat, using the elbows to help you open the knees. We stay here just for a breath, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. 
For this side from here, you have two options. You can either walk forward to your vinyasa or a little more adventures. We are gonna just straight drop into that chaturanga from here. So give it a try. We're just gonna reach the arms forward, slowly shifting forward and drop into the vinyasa. Inhale to your upper dog. Exhale to a quick child's pose to reset. Before we go into the second side, you can keep the arms forward, you can reach them to take a little break here. Resetting, we're gonna take three to five breaths before we go to the second side. If you need a sip of water or anything, this is a good time. Once you are ready, we're gonna take the next three to five breaths to slowly bring ourselves back into that downward dog. So take any modification, any twist, any transition, anything that feels good to get us there. You got this. We got two more breaths to get us in the downward dog. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Last one, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. We are ready for the second final side. So keep pressing the hands against the floor just like we did before. We're gonna start by lifting the heels, rounding the spine, shifting the weight forward, get the shoulders on top of the hands, and then we reverse, tilt the hip all the way back to downward dog. One more time, inhale, rounding to shift all the way to the front. Exhale, back into the downward dog. Last one. Inhale, shifting the way all the way to the front. This time, stay in your plank. Right hand stays down. We're gonna try to reach the left arm to the front, keeping the shoulders and the hips facing down. Hold it there for the inhalation. And as you exhale, shift the way back. The left hand tries to grab the outside of the right leg. Let's do the same thing again. Inhale, shifting the way forward, keep facing the floor. Exhale, shifting back, grabbing the outside of the right leg. Last one. Inhale, shifting forward. This time, we're gonna start rotating towards the left. Like if you're going to a side plank, left arm is gonna travel to reach towards the back. Hip comes down for a little touch. And then we reverse that. Hip comes up all the way to the back, to that downward dog, grabbing the outside of the right foot. And in this last one, try to get to look towards the right armpit. Twist a little more for the inhalation. And exhale, left hand comes down into your downward dog. Inhale, left leg comes up, bend the left knee, let the hip open, and we're gonna slowly drop, like if you were about to go to your wall thing, gently touch the floor, bend both knees, drop both knees on the floor, push away with the right hand, so we can reach opposite towards the left, a little twist, and then reverse. Hands come towards the front of your mat, Tuck the right toes, left leg stays bended, left leg comes up, left knee bended, shift the waist so the shoulders are on top of the hands, look up to touch the back of the head, hold it as you inhale. Exhale, knee to nose to kiss it. Step the left foot between your hands, drop the right knee, release the right toes. Again, we're gonna keep the toes pointed in this version. Shift the hips down and forward. Once you are ready, arms are gonna come up. Grab opposite elbows, making sure the arms are behind the ears. And again, we're gonna keep those right toes pointed if possible. Either stay like that, or if you can, as you inhale, right knee comes off, and we try to hold it there. Maybe we send the arms back to open the heart. One more breath there. And reverse. Drop the knee the right toes from the same position, right knee comes off, and the arms reach back, opening back, hips a little deeper, one more inhalation, exhale, hands come down, shift the way back, either sliding the left heel or floating the left heel all the way to the back, and then we can walk the hands as well to transfer the weight towards the feet. Once we get there, inhale, look halfway up, Exhale, fall forward, interlace the hands behind, and we're gonna let the head hang. Now, if interlacing doesn't feel good today, you can also grab opposite elbows in this position. So just let the head hang here, no tension on the neck, let the gravity do the work. From this position, 
you can stay like that or we're gonna try to reach the hands interlace towards the right once the hands are reaching to the right you can bend the right knee and try to look towards the left a little twist on that reach shoulder opening and then reverse to face the floor other side hands reaching towards the left this time bend the left knee as we look out to the right exhale fall forward keep the hands interlaced inhale we're gonna look halfway up and we're gonna slowly try to come all the way up to standing once you are right to standing make sure the feet is hip width apart or a little bit wider we're gonna start reaching the hands towards the floor all the way maybe let the head hang if it feels good to bend the knees a little to get a little deeper for today and then reversing up to standing shifting the way forward releasing the hands to make a circle to reach them forward nice and long spine here belly in reaching to the front again you have the option to walk forward to your chaturanga or as we exhale we're gonna let ourselves drop straight to chaturanga and when we push up the left foot comes up to go straight to the wall thing left arm reaches up hip comes higher pushing away with the right hand holding it here for one more inhalation and as we exhale, left hand comes down, left knee stays bent, shoulders on top of the hands, look up to try to touch the back of the head with inhalation. And then we bend the elbows to bring the head, the shoulders, the chest, and the knee down. Same idea, palms on the floor, elbows pointing back. Inhale, aim to extend the arms as we touch the back of the head with your left foot. And reversing, leg down. Woo, windy. Other side. Bend the right knee, aim to extend, looking up. Exhale, coming down. For this one, we're gonna try to go to our ball pose. So we're gonna bring, the, bend the knees, reach the hands towards your feet, towards your ankle, whatever is accessible to you. And once you are ready, we're gonna come up together. Inhale, coming all the way up to the ball pose. Coming up to hold. You are welcome to stay hitting your ball pose, no problem. For those who wanna go a little more challenged today, from the ball pose, we're gonna start leaning ourselves to the right side. Leaning to the right, gently dropping on the right side. Keep grabbing yourself in the boat just for the inhalation. And slowly reversing with control back up into bow. Let's give it a try to the other side. Slowly leaning to the left side with control. And gently reversing up to the bow pose. Come a little higher for the last breath. And slowly releasing the feet. Bring your palms under the shoulders. Push away so we can transfer to the kneeling position all the way up. For this side, we're gonna do the camel pose. Regular camel, so just set up for that. Knees are hip width apart. Palms, just like we did standing, we're gonna bring it to your lower back. Fingertips pointing up so we can also open the wrist. Elbows pointing back. Starting with the chest. Inhale, open the chest first. Support the lower back, getting a little deeper. This may be it for us, stay there. If you wanna get a little deeper, you can bring one hand at a time towards your heels. Come to your full camel. Wherever you are, stay here. Maybe hips a little forward, stay there for three, two, and in your one, reverse, same way you got there. Coming back up, tuck the toes, transfer to Malasana, hands on prayer here in your yogi squat. For this side, we can stay as it is. We can do a little bit of a round the spine to start, letting the palms touch the floor, just to have a little bit of a stretch in this area that we've been working on today. We're gonna stay here for one more breath. And slowly come back to regular Malasana. Opening the shoulders before we finish. Let's bring the left arm in front of the left knee. Right arm reaches up, either staying like that or those who wanna go for a bind, interlacing the hands behind, looking to the right shoulder. Staying here for one more breath. And slowly reverse. Let's try the other side. Right arm in front of the right knee. Left arm reaches up, either staying like that or interlacing, opening and twisting. Staying here for one more breath. 
and slowly reverse. Coming back to Malasana. In this one, we're actually just gonna either slide or step by step to get to your plank. So take your time to slide or rip all the way forward to your plank. Shoulders on top of your hands, inhale to stay. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Jump or step all the way to the front. Once you land, drop the hips and roll all the way back to your plow position. You can use your hands to support the lower back. A little bit of a counter pose after everything we did. We're gonna take it here for one more breath. And slowly dropping the hands and getting vertebra by vertebra to drop down towards the floor. We're gonna keep the right knee on the chest and let the left leg drop all the way forward. Once you grab the right knee, we're gonna use the strength of your arms to pull the right knee to the chest here. Using the strength to pull a little more. Now the left hand grabs the outside of the right knee, pull it across your body. But for the right arm today, I want you to try the cactus arm variation here, just to open a little bit more the shoulders in a different way. So imagine it's your cactus arm with the palm facing up and trying to get the right hand as well and the elbow to touch the floor. It's kind of like a figure four both ways here with the leg and the arm. Stay in this version for three, two, and one, reverse, right knee to chest. Bring in the right hand to the knee. We're gonna bring the shoulders off the mat, left heel off, and extend the arms to the front. Inhale to stay there. Exhale to extend the right leg and bring the arms to the back. Hold it there for three. Belly in two. In your one, left knee to chest, interlace, grab the right heel and really pull the left knee to the chest here. Let's get that stretch first. Pull it a little more. And with the right hand this time, you grab the outer of the left knee, pull it across your body and the left arm is in the cactus arm version with the palm facing up, getting the final twist here. Stay in there. We got one more breath. And slowly and twisting, bringing the left knee and the right knee as well to your knees, to your chest. We're gonna hack the knees, become a tight, contract, rounding belly in. Staying tiny, but reach the arms to the front, using the core, hold it for three, hold it for two. And in your one, slowly release. Let everything go. Let's go to the final and well-deserved Chavasana. You can let the feet fall out. Close your eyes if that feels good, palms facing up. Allow your body to absorb the benefits from your practice. Acknowledge what you did today and just let it all go here, sink into the mat. It was a pleasure guiding you through this practice today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I get to see you again very soon. Namaste.